Bonk. Grab your lettuce, JB. All set and ready to go. We're gonna go grocery shopping. Get some food to make grilled cheese. I have an idea. Let's go find our shoes. We're waiting for daddy. I'm excited, so excited. You guys know I love going shopping with the girls. I do it all the time, but today is a special day because we're partnering with Tillamook to help uh, promote Real Food Sunday. That's a movement they started to help get families to commit to eating real food one day a week on Sundays. We do all the time. We like to go to the farmer's market, the grocery store. So today, we're not only gonna go shopping, the girl's gonna help us prepare the meal, uh, prepare a picnic lunchbox thing, and we're gonna eat. Oh, please don't eat your ball. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> daddy, daddy, where are you? Daddy not coming. You guys ready to go? It's like an actual taxi cab. Slice of cheese. Slice of cheese, yes. Let's go get that. Oh, Swiss. What, you want this one? Medium white? No, no, no. Thank you for shopping. Oh, damn, damn, damn. In the cart, please. We got our cheeses. What do we need next for grilled cheese the sandwich? Bread. Oh no, it's okay. There's a fish all over there. It's okay, you're gonna be fine. Let's just get through it real quick. What is that? What is this one? Watermelon. Watermelon. We'll get one of these. The green one is yummier. Yeah. The green one is yummier. Where's the corn? Like you? <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> my secret ingredient right here, you guys. You guys know I love my green onions. Thank you. So we're out getting some fresh air. Man, these girls were not having it when we got back because they wanted um, T-R-E-A-T-S right away. So to hold them over before lunch, we have a peach, which is delicious and healthy. Daddy's in the kitchen. Me, Sam, plus. Parent tip, if you're gonna cook with your kids, get as much of this ready beforehand so that like everything goes nice and smooth. But today, as you guys know, we're making grilled cheese sandwiches and I prefer sourdough. I just love the punch of flavor that you get. If you're making uh, grilled cheese for your kids, make their slices really thin. I've got nice thick slices for us. Room temperature butter, really important to have so that you can spread it over the bread before you make your sandwiches. I like to put some kind of deli meat. I'm using ham today. Coarse cheese, Tillamook of course for real food Sunday. Day. and then green onions you guys this gives it a little punch of flavor ground black pepper also brings out the flavors but today the cheese that we're using is some cheddar got some Colby Jack and then I like to go a little fancy with the provolone and then we're gonna be making some sandwiches for lunch tomorrow you can use a non-stick but I prefer cast iron and another tip if you're using a cast iron preheat this so that's ready to go right after you're done making your sandwiches who wants to make grilled cheese sandwiches? Come here! Oh, I guess nobody. Okay, let's call the other. She's over. Give me a high five! Let's wash your hands! Yeah! <laughs> no, put <laughs> Gotta be uh, nice and clean. <laughs> While Daddy's cooking up the grilled cheese, 
we will prepare our lunch for tomorrow. First time they've ever packed their lunch and it was a challenge at first but within the next few years you guys are gonna be doing it more often okay stand closer to sisters ready remember I said after your grilled cheese you could have cookie okay over the <laughs> no. green onion black pepper I tell you this brings out all the flavor the cheese the sourdough there you, go. you guys want to see a really cool trick yeah you take your grilled cheese and you dip it into the soup it's so yummy I think Mia and Kira like doing that how is it Kira oh it's a little hot you can <laughs> you can dip the sandwich into the soup Oh, oh my gosh. With a green onion. What was your favorite part about making the lunch? Doing the birdies. The birdies? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Little by little. No. She just lost her mm. piece of ham. Let it play. No, I've seen a method. It's real crossover. <laughs> Hashtag Real Food Sunday with your food pictures on Twitter, Instagram. Tag our handles to Benjamin and TV. It's Judy time, and then we're gonna check it out. Thank you, Tillamook, for having us do this video with you guys. You guys, was it delicious? Thumbs up. I don't like tomatoes too. <laughs> we're gonna put the link to the recipe down in the info box, so go check it out at Tillamook.com. Ooh, Oregon strawberry. Is this your favorite part of the meal? Cheers. Say hi to the cow. Mm -hmm.